Kia Moorline sits in her living room after nearly a month-long hospital stay following a devastating cancer diagnosis. The mother to three girls was pregnant with her first boy. And I don't know how strong I would have been if it wasn't without him. Baby James was born via C-section on January 23rd at 30 weeks and six days. He's still in the NICU. But it hurts. It's like taking a piece of me away because I can't bring him home. It was the pregnancy that pushed Kia to find answers. Pain in her left breast escalated to pain in her legs and pelvis until she was unable to walk. Doctors told her it was pregnancy related. She knew it wasn't. I knew in my heart something was wrong. Tests revealed metastatic breast cancer that had spread to her spine, skull and lymph nodes. So far, she's had one round of chemo. About a week and a half, I lost my, I started losing my hair. So the day we got home, I shaved it. I just instantly wanted to shave it. It's still coming off, but it's harder to watch it just come out when I would just kind of wipe my head. This was a chance to take back control. I did it here the day I came home, and I wanted my daughters here to see it. That made me, that gave me power. My five-year-old came up to me and grabbed my hand and said, you could do it. Support has been pouring in for Kia and her family throughout this difficult time, from her daughter's cheerleading squad to strangers in Michigan, Florida, and Texas. Thank you is not enough. Kia says she hopes her story can inspire someone else who needs it. I will get through it. I can fight it. Now, a recent PET scan revealed the cancer has spread to Kia's pelvic bone. She'll meet with doctors tomorrow and hopes to start her next round of chemotherapy on Friday. She tells me doctors are enthusiastic. She will go into remission. If you'd like to donate, you can find that information on WLWT.com.